So why does Canelo want to fight his good friend and sparring partner, Yildirim? Why do the WBC want Canelo to fight his good friend and sparring partner? Why? <laughs> oh, it's not rocket science. Why? <laughs> The zones say they won't accept it. Really? We'll see about that. So, these are the rankings in the super middleweight division from December 23rd, 2019. David Benavides had just beaten Anthony Durrell, and he was the number one or he was the WBC champ, I guess. Seeing as he just beat the guy that beat Avni. So Anthony Durrell beats Avni. Avni doesn't have any wins after that. And Avni is rated number one, and Anthony Durrell is rated number five. Shouldn't Durrell be number one? And if you want to have Avni up there, maybe you shouldn't have either one of them up there. But if you will, shouldn't at the very least Anthony be above the guy that he beat? That would make sense. But no, Avni ever since has been the number one rated super middleweight in the WBC. I think it's safe to say that the WBC won a safe fight for Canelo, right? Canelo wants to fight his buddy coming off a loss. Why is Canelo trying to fight this guy coming off a loss? He tried to fight... Uh, allegedly try to fight the guy that beat Avni, Darrell, right? But he was also coming off a loss. Why is that? Is it because he's the pound for pound number one guy in the sport? Is it because he's a confident champion? Is it because his handlers and the WBC have tons of confidence in him because he's a great confident champion, pound for pound number one guy in the sport? Is that why? Or is it because he's a bum? And they got to line up these bums for him to look good against. What is it? Remember when Golovkin was slated to fight undefeated? Okay, unheralded. Unher not that good, no doubt about it. But undefeated, at the very least. Steve Rolls. Remember that? Coming off a loss, by the way, Golovkin. Not rated as the number one pound-for-pound -pound guy in the sport. Aging Golovkin, right? Got his one little freebie with the zone right kind of like Canelo did with that bum <laughs> but when Golovkin was slated to fight Rose oh my god oh hell broke loose my god the criticism oh my goodness when Golovkin when they mentioned Golovkin fighting Jaime Munguia because Canelo was too busy sticking needles up his ass um all hell broke loose back then too, right? And then when they mentioned Munguia fighting Canelo, it was all good, right? That, that was all good. Weird. But Canelo's the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter, and Golovkin is way below that, right? But if that's the case, why are we holding Golovkin up to a higher standard than Canelo? Why? Why does the whole boxing world hold him up to a higher standard? That tells you exactly where they stand, right? Who the better fighter is. That tells you exactly what you need to know. And all these shenanigans, all this nonsense, all these legal battles, and all these bums they want to line up for Canelo in the meantime, that's just him waiting till Golovkin is 45 years old before he finally grows a pair of, ball to fight, pair of balls to fight him. Canelo is straight up trying to fight, quote-unquote, fight, his sparring partner, Buddy, Avni Yildirim, coming off a loss. <laughs> and the boxing world is like, yeah, that's cool. Fuck you, pay me, right? Like, this is so shameful. This is so set up. This is so obviously 
not what a pound for pound number one guy should be doing. Shouldn't even be mentioning these guys. Why is he even sparring with these dudes? Right? That should tell you something. Why is the supposedly number one guy in in the world sparring these bums? No offense to, to Avni, right? No, but, you know, he's a bum. Why is he sparring these bums? Right? Why isn't he sparring someone like Benavides, for example? Because he might get his ass handed to him in sparring. That's why. <laughs> this guy has to scrape the bottom of the barrel to see, you know, if he can overcome these tough challenges in the gym. And then after, you know, keeping them frozen, making them wait, um, waving that contract in front of them, and then finally having them sign the contract six or seven days before the fight where they could start their training camp, right? Imposing all kinds of crazy drug testing on all these people, probably having somebody, you know, make funny phone calls to their hotel rooms or wherever they may be staying, training in the middle of the night, whispering sweet nothings in their ears, right? All kinds of shenanigans and games, I have no doubt, allegedly, in my opinion, are being played behind the scenes just to get, you know, Canelo <laughs> a fight. <laughs> Somehow the Billy Joe Saunders, which was a shit fight anyway, what the hell has Saunders done in the last few years? Gotten fat? Who has he beaten lately? That's right, nobody. Billy Joe Saunders. They mentioned Callum Smith because he looked like crap in his last fight. They just mentioned him. He still won't fight him. Still too big and dangerous. Unless, you know, he signs that contract saying, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll lie down for little Canelo. Is this what the pound for pound number one guy should be doing? Scraping the bottom of the barrel for old sparring partners to fight? On pay-per-view for, or not pay-per-view, but for $35 million. <laughs> and speaking of this $35 million per fight thing that everyone's just yammering on about, how come Alvarez got $15 million for his first fight on the zone and then $40 million for his next two bouts? 30, $35 million per fight, okay? Man, boxing fans. Ah. Definitely most of the ones with boxing channels on here. Shout out to all the real motherfuckers out there. But um, there's just a bunch of idiots and clowns, really. Like, it's right there in front of you, right? $35 million per fight, okay? Canelo. <laughs> oh, man, it's fun clowning this clown sport in this clown world. But it is what it is. What the hell is Canelo doing, even considering... I guarantee you that fight happens next, okay? They're going to, Canelo and Golden Boy are going to make up. They're going to put on airs in the press conferences. They're going to act like they're the worst of enemies, like they're there begrudgingly, not making eye contact, rolling their eyes at each other, getting all puffed up. And then they're going to start slapping each other's but in, in, uh, in the back rooms, in the dressing room, right? And doing, uh, well, you know what, besides lines of you know what, basically. Laughing all the way to the bank at all the dumb fuckers. Saying, 30 million, 35 million dollars per pint. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, what a disgrace. This is hilarious, man. I'm enjoying boxing for exactly exactly for what it is. Clown world. Alright. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you like the video. If you like a dose of reality in this world of insanity, idiocy, and definitely, definitely very, very, very little honesty, uh, do consider supporting my demonetized channels or even just this one on patreon 
Link in the description. Take care.